Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Kit review time, we've got another Rubicons 156 scale model for you. This time we've got the Bowforce 40 millimeter automatic gun or an L60. So what we've got down in here is again, another. So it's war gaming stuff, we said before, but on a, a modeling scale, shall we say. So some great detail paint and weathering with the figures in these ones as well. So again, can be assembled in the transport position or ready to fire one. It can elevate the gun. Uh, it can be obviously traversed as well, the gun left and right, and the outriggers can swing into the open and closed position. You've got extra ammo, extra barrels, and four crew figures with this particular one. And again, here we go. You can see it all down in here. Some really nice details of this one. So here we go. Draw it all in there like that. As you can see, really, really nice kits with this one. As always, we will start along with the old instructions. So got a sort of pull out style with this one. So as you can see in here, starting off with the actual main sort of chassis of this one, going right the way through, putting those ones on. Obviously, we've got the wheels, all the bits and pieces. And again, say taking note of these ones, you've got different ones for obviously having it in the stowed and the actual ready to use position. And then obviously these ones, depending on if you're going to be operating or not, going right the way through. And then over on the other side, we've got the gun system itself, for all the various things. We've got the cover as well for the load. And then obviously be fitted down on this one. And again, depending if you're having it in the uh, electric control position, all right, or manual control position, you've got options with this one right the way through. And then on the back side, as you can see down in here, we've got more parts going in this one. So we've got the shields being fitted onto this one. We've got the crew figures all in the ready to go positions. Obviously, we've got the aimer down in here onto this one as well. And then over here, we've got it all being fitted together, coming on, sliding on top. And then obviously, as you can see, we've got extra ammo containers, a little bit of stowage item all lying around. And then obviously the figures into the position just like that, ready to go. Again, really very, very nicely detailed on these. So starting off, going to be quite small. We've only got two sprues in this one. Very nice indeed. So where are we? So if we go around this way, we can probably do it in somewhat of a close-up all the way through. As you can see, really nice details with the figures. We've got the actual main sort of gun platform down in there as well. All the things, got the shields down in there, all the parts and pieces for the crew. So again, very nice all the way through with that particular one. Very nice indeed. And then over here, we've got more of the actual main vehicle chassis, or the systems chassis, I should say. So again, we've got the various ones for the guns, the bits and pieces, we've got the stowage items at the top, all of those ones. So as you can see down on here, we've got the actual uh, 40 millimeter shells, the gun itself, and then obviously again, more parts making up down in here. So we've got the breach, the various areas down the bottom here. It's the traverse table down in here, the thing. So we've got the wheels, the various different parts all up here on this one. So again, another really, really nice detail. And again, as always, no sign of any flash, no sign of any sink marks or anything else like that. Just generally a very nice kit all the way through. So again, very, very nice. It's not going to break the bank, pretty straightforward. And what you've got there is a really nice usable for wargaming or just for your collection as well. So they are an absolute must. Okay.